Welcome. This infomercial is about a rising global issue, synthetic cathinones, a new series of deadly designer drugs. You may know synthetic cathinones by its more popular name, bath salts, but not these bath salts, although the containers and the substance within are deceptively similar and that's on purpose. The Drug Enforcement Administration has categorized synthetic cathinones as a Schedule I controlled substance, indicating that they are unsafe, very high potential for abuse, with no known medical use. But first, a little history. Cathinones is the active ingredient in the cat plant. The leaves of the cat plant are chewed for their amphetamine-like stimulation. This produces psychotropic, euphoric, metabolic, and cardiovascular effects. An estimated 20 million people consume it daily in places like Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Yemen, where it has a religious significance. It's been consumed longer than coffee has been with more powerful effects. The structure of cathinone seen here has been modified in order to get around the rising number of places where it's been declared illegal. Because of this, you may find it in very various different kinds of packaging, found at convenience stores, gas stations, drug paraphernalia shops, and even stores where you can buy herbal remedies. You may find it with labels such as bath salts, flaca, bloom, cloud nine, white dove, white lightning, white lady, blue wave, purple wave, lunar wave, vanilla sky, zoom, and others. Perhaps a sadistic person came up with the last nickname, Scarface. This is likely due, a, due to a recent incident, Miami, Florida, May 26, 2012 where a 31-year-old former high school football player was observed inexplicably ripping his own clothes off before violently attacking a homeless man for 20 minutes at some point chewing on his face before authorities arrived. When commands were given, he was unresponsive, at some point even snarling at the police, and it took five shots before he was pronounced dead. This is part of a rising number of crimes involving synthetic cathinones. Chemically, synthetic cathinones are similar to amphetamines. Cocaine, although 10 times as strong, and methylene dioxime methamphetamines, also known as MDMA or ecstasy and molly. In fact, many times molly is sold containing synthetic cathinones unknown to the buyer. It is ingested, smoked, snorted, or injected, which causes the brain to be flooded with the neurotransmitter dopamine and serotonin, with the reuptake blocked, maintaining the euphoria, increased sociability and sex drive, and some users have reported hallucinations. Also reported are increased heart rate and pressure, and a sense of anxiety, depression, paranoia, nosebleeds, sweating, and nausea, and a case called a condition called excited delirium, where the body's temperature heats up, a condition known as hyperthermia, over 105 degrees Fahrenheit. This causes dehydration, a breakdown of skeletal muscle tissue, kidney failure, and even death. The substance is addictive with no known medical treatment for withdrawal. However, behavioral therapy can be used to treat addiction to synthetic cathinones, such as cognitive and behavioral therapy, contingency management or motivational incentives, providing rewards to patients who remain substance-free, motivational enhancement therapy, and behavioral treatments geared specifically to teens. If you need more information on treatment and where you can find it, you can call the Substance Abuse Treatment Facility Locator at 1-800-662-HELP or visit the Substance Abuse Mental Health 
Services Administration at this following address. Thank you for your time.